Hello again. Um, okay, I will um, read uh, Marina Markovic and Blanka Bogunovic paper instead of them. Uh, Marina Markovic is a um, musicologist and Blanka Bogunovic is um, a music psychologist, so this is uh, an example of real interdisciplinary uh, research. Thank you. Uh, Serbian chant, uh, chant formed on the territory of the met metropolitanate of Karlovci in the late 18th century has been transmitted for a long time primarily by oral tradition. In the process of, uh, process of oral transmission of the melodies belonging to the so-called short chant, that is uh, less, uh, less melismatic chant, hymns of the Osmoglasnik, that is Octoikos, serve as a basis for Kroenje, literally it's tailoring, Croen uh, in Serbian and the literal translation is tailoring, which means adaptations of music to a text. Since the procedure of Croen involves simultaneous detaching um, octoikos uh, melodies from their original text and attaching them to the text of, uh, from other liturgical books without notation real realized orally, uh, tailoring is inherent in improvisation, which is an integral part of the process of creating a musical work during the act of performing, even in the cases when musical work is not created by improvisation completely, as is the case with hymns of contemporary Serbian chant. This fact initiated our interdisciplinary uh, psychological and musicological research with an aim to determine uh, the importance of improvisational process in shaping of melodies in Serbian chant based on an analysis of musical cognitive aspects of improvisation manifested during the process of Kroenje tailoring. The fact that the melodies from the Octoikos rep represent the dominant basis for uh, Kroenje in Serbian church singing practice is derived from the significance of the hymns of uh, Octoikos in the Orthodox ritual context. They are repeated multiple times during the church year, thus enabling psalms to remember tunes easily. Although a certain number of texts uh, text from various service books has been written down in notation form, starting from the second half of the 19th century, the daily usage of anthologies of church melodies is still not customary in the liturgical practice of the Serbian Orthodox Church. Instead, psalts singing melodies that belong to diff uh, different church modes by heart. The necessity of dealing skillfully with the complex order of performing songs from different service books, which are used alternatively during the service, is one of the reasons why psalts mostly do not sing from notation. Instead, in shaping liturgical texts musically, they rely on the process of croenje, tailoring, in, order, in, in whose essence one can recognize the improvisational principle. Structural models of improvisation. Improvisation is an act of spontaneous and flexible creativity which takes place within the limits imposed not only by conventions but also by implicit rules, thus making improvisation an organized totality that is both understandable and interesting. Therefore, it is often emphasized that unlike composition, improvisation must function right away, resisting gradual shaping and refining. Numerous investigations into the cognitive aspects of improvisation, of improvisation um, are geared toward the identification of the rules on, on the basis of which obje objective presentation, that is, uh, uh, that is, he adapted musical text or auditory presentation of sensory data in the form of sets of hierarchically uh, different organi organized groups of tones in terms of shaping, motives, uh, themes or phrases, and so forth, is translated into a subjective mental rep representation and its cre uh, creative superstructure that enjoys varying degrees of freedom. Thus, an attempt to formulate and consider, uh, consolidate the regularities on which the psychological aspects of the improvisational process are based has resulted in the emergence of a certain number of relevant cognitive models of the improvisation process. All of them take into account the fact that the result of improvisation is a direct product of a spontaneous creative um, impulse, thus having an individual creative touch. At the same time, it is determined by both temporal and stylistic limitation, or, in other words, it is limited by acquired musical knowledge. It enables an improvised piece of music to be coherent and stylistically adequate, and thus recognizable, or more precisely, understandable to the audience. 
One of the models of uh, referent-based improvisation, whose authors are Milman Perry and Albert Lord, is the result of their research in the field of folklore and its particular oral, oral tradition in shaping and transmitting folk literature. According to this model, the performer creates a po poetic product anew whenever he performs it. In so doing, he selects its constituent elements from a corpus of themes and uh, groups of so-called formally, uh, while at the same time using the appropriate composition technique based on the repetition of the selecting units. Formulae represent uh, fundamental se uh, semantic entities consisting of, the, of a group of words used regularly within the limits of identical metrical circumstances in order to express the given basic idea that has its own metric, syntactic, and acoustic dimensions. On the other hand, themes are uh, defined as types of events described by means of formula and being, uh, being characteristic of a multitude of different poems. By selecting more or less similar formula from the repertoire and combining them in different ways, an uh, experienced performer creates a new version of a known epic poem in real time, or in other words, he improvises. Consequently, there is no absolute fi uh, absolutely fixed version of poetic work. Each performance represents a new product shaped in such a way that it co corresponds to the essentially unrepeatable performative situation. The significance of the Perry Lord mo uh, model also lies in the fact that its application is not limited to literature that has been created and transmitted orally. It is also being applica uh, applicable in a field of music, including different musical genres to which improvisation is imminent, for example, in jazz. In his own musical improvisation model, Eric Clark points out that the organization of structural events in the course of improvisation is achieved according to three principles. Uh, first, hierarchical principle, when an element forms a part of multi-layered structure which is partially known and partially developed in the course of performance. Second, associative principle, when each new event is derived from a previous sequence by a forward transfer of information. And third, the selection of a certain number of elements from a performance repertoire uh, with varying degree of relatedness between selections, which represents the principle equivalent to the Perry Lord improvisation model in broader sense. The author points out that uh, these three principles are often interrelated, uh, which co contributes to the quality of improvisation. In his information-based model of musical improvisation, Jeff Pressing explains the improvisation process by means of closed-loop the theory. In contrast uh, to the open-loop theory, it, is, uh, it includes the process of obtaining return information about accuracy, quality, and effect of the performed so-called feedback which occurs simul uh, simultaneously with the musical performance, in addition to the sensor input, that is, the adoption of musical entities relevant for the current act of improvisation, cognitive processing of perceived data, and motor output presented during the improvisation process. Apart from enabling a peculiar overseeing of something that occurs in the course of improvisation and thus the, detec the detection, that is correction of errors in the current performative situation, <laughs> feedback functions over the long term as a cognitive mechanism for decision making con uh, concerning the selection of structural elements, or more exactly, the method for shaping musical flow and its interpretation. Therefore, it can be considered that the key uh, component of the creative uh, aspect of musical improvisation is a whole. Pressing's model is based on analogy with computer-based processing and perceives improvisation as a part of solving a succession of problems. Since this process is connected with a specific temporal continuum, it is segmented in a set of temporal points representing the mo moments of decision-making concerning the selection of musical entities, formal procedures, and performing methods. Pressing points out that the improvisation implies enhanced attention to specified structural and performative parameters of a piece of music. However, as a result of gaining improvisation experience, controlled processing gives, a, gives way to automatic motor processing, which contributes to the quality and integration of the newly created musical project. Improvisation background of Kroenje, application of cognitive structural uh, models. As the fundamental practice of shaping songs in Serbian church singing practice, on which psalts rely during a ritual, consequently in real time and with temporal limitations, Kroenje not only points out to the problem concerning the degree of preservation of the basic musical characteristics of melodies from octoic uh, in the complex process of adaptation of the two new texts, but also raises a question of their determination by the improvisational aspects being inherent to the aforementioned process. 
Analogously to the notion of theme in epic poetry defined by the already described Perry Lord improvisational model, each mode in Serbian chant represents a peculiar melodic type, which implies the existence of a group of melodic session, sections with, with one characteristic formula within each of them. A group of melodic phrases encompassed uh, by a specific church mode can be regarded as a corpus of melodic uh, musical entities from which the psalt selects the constituent elements for shaping a melody and harmonizing it with the selected text. Like a textual formula in an epic poem, a melodic formula in church melody represents the basic semantic unit, but also functions as a key identification element of the specified melodic session, that is, church mode to which a given musical phrase belongs, since it, uh, it is conceived as a melodic or melodic rhythmic model, which is repeated, unchanged, or partly varied during the melody. The aspects of regularity of using a melodic formula in Serbian chant, which is reflected in its consistent connection to the same melodic section, that is one church mode, is equivalent to the content at, and the metric contextualization of the formula having a specified meaning in epic poetry. The formula represents the fixed part of the melodic section and always occurs at the end of the phrase. It is preceded by essentially variable introductory part, which fills the melodic flow from the beginning of the section to the initial tone of the characteristic formula. Here in uh, musical example one, you can he uh, sh uh, see the structure of the Stachirion at Lord I Have Cried, number two in first mode, from the service to Saint Stefan Sti uh, Stiljanovic. This service belongs to Srbljak. It is a church service book that contains the services to Serbian saints and their biographies arranged by the months and days of the church year. Melodies from Oktoikon adapts the, to the text of hymns from Srbljak. This melographic record was made by Branko Cveć in the first half of the 20th century. In this example, you can see the structure of melodic, uh, melodic sections A and B from the same stachyrion. And here, you can see a, a schematic illustration of the structure of melodic sections A and B. The possibility of breaking down melodic sections into parts, which are different in terms of their expressiveness and the degree of determination of their melodic and rhythmic characteristics, is of special importance to psalts in the process of croenje. Namely, the psalts memorizes a melodic section primarily on the basis of its characteristic formula, so that it, it has the significance of the basic cognitive stronghold for his memorization process. In the process of harmonizing the melody with the text, which is accompanied by a relatively consistent observation of the principle of a global structural organization of the musical flow of the songs from the Octoikos, the psalt is always guided by the principle that a sequence of completed reflective entities in the text should be fitted into the musical flow of the melody, so that one melodic section corresponds to one textual phase, whereby the duration of melodic section is con uh, conditioned by the duration of the textual syntactic semantic entity. Consequently, the psalt shapes the section on the segmentic musical flow, bearing primarily in mind the tr structure of the text. However, the number of melodic sections is not the same in all modes, nor it is compulsory that each melody contains all the sections of the relevant mode based on the established number of the melodic phrases. The psalt begins the process of croenje by reading the text silently because, for the success of adaptation of the existing melody to a new text, it is necessary to have advanced knowledge about the de delineation points of textual phrases so that each of, of them is correctly fitted into the selection uh, melodic section of the relevant mode. What is typical for the process of croenje, however, is its flexibility in determining the boundaries of the text parts because psalts often interpret different parts of the same text as phrases, almost independently on the existing or non-existing punctuation marks. Therefore, the text segmentation process can be understood as a process of continuous problem solving in pressing meaning of this notion, which in this case involves the problems associated with determining the delineation points of the reflective text entities, that is, the points in the temporal continuum which represent the most appropriate mom moments to decide where will be the best for the textual phrases to begin and end. On the other hand, the psalt views formula as almost unchangeable structural elements in learned melodical material. Thus, he almost automatically observed the place in the known musical flow, as well as the syllable within the new textual phrase where the characteristic formula should logically begin, because it is most often encompasses six syllables of the text. 
After the melodic shaping of the first textual phrase, the psalm continues reading the text ahead and almost at the same time combines the melodic sections with the textual phrases, thus creating a melopoetic entity of the song. The end of each melodic textual phrase is also the moment of the decision concerning the selection of the melodic section that will be connected to the subsequent textual phrase, which is also found in Pressing's model of musical improvisation. The dominant periodicity in the occurrence of melodic sections is also perceived by Epsalt as one of the structural constants of the musical flow of church melodies. Consequently, he uses the process of Kroenia according to the learned musical melodic patterns and depending on the length of the textual phrase, supplements the introductory parts and characteristic formulae with passing or auxiliary tones. He selects them on the basis of his experience with tone sequences shaped in given style and fits them into existing melody according to the hierarchical principle of interconnecting structural elements defined within the framework of Clark's improvisation model. Consequently, by fulfilling the preset Kroenia according to Gestalt principle, uh, by fulfilling the preset expectations related to the flow of melodic movements to a lesser or greater degree, the Psalt uses Kroenia according to the Gestalt principle, that is, on the basis of recognizing the entirety based on previously learned musical material, both at the level of local perceptual organization, that is, on the plane of the structure of musical melodic sections, and the level of its global perceptual organization, that is, on the plane of the structure of the melody as a whole. In the process of Kroenia, the Psalt aspires towards maximum control over the accompanying improvisation process, or, to use church singing terminology, tries to remain in mode. In this way, he varies the melody and creates an unrepeatable totality each time. Throughout his performance, however, he is concentrated on the received feedback about the degree of harmonization of the new musical material with the basic melodic characteristics of a given mode and length of the textual phrase correcting any excessive additions of novelties. Therefore, the psalt always bears in, uh, bears in mind both the physiognomy of the melodic formula being typical of a given mode and the characteristic tones of its melodic sections, that is, the in initialis, finalis, and tones of the melodic dominant, which in a functional sense represent the substitute of a strongly established tonal uh, stronghold. The term melodic dominant implies the tones that are most often repeated at the prominent places and represent ma uh, mainstay of the melody. In Serbian chant, each melodic section contain, contains one of two such notes. All of these tones are often emphasized by melodic or rhythmical accents, or, like the tones of the melodic dominant, repeated a few times during the musical section, thus representing the support in the case of intonative instability, that is, one of the ways in which the psalt remains in mode. In view of the fact that the melodic structure of musical of Serbian church melodies is based on the sequence of sections according to the relatively established order of their occurrence, the aim set by the psalt to himself, already in the process of adopting structural elements relevant for the shaping the musical flow of the melody, is that enhanced attention to the, glo to the glo for, uh, global formal and structural determinants of the musical flow, or better said, to control processing should give way to automatic motor processing mentioned by pressing in his improvisation model, which is achieved by rehearsing, that is, gaining experience in Kroenje. In the process of Kroenje, the psalt shapes a church melody mostly by grouping the section primarily as ABA, ABC, ABCD, and the like, with the order of occurrence of phrases that is largely based on the cyclical repetitions of the group of sections being characteristic of a given mode, and the number of repetitions determined by the number of sections in the text. This means, for example, that the song consisting of seven textual entities in the mode with three characteristic melodic sections and the final phrase will be ABC, ABC, F, form in most records, which is based on the associative connection of structural elements, implying the introduction of new parts by their transfer from previous sequence of elements, which is consistent with Clark's model of musical improvisation. Here on figure four, we can see associative connection of structural elements in the process of adaptation melody of first mode from Octoikos to a text of aforementioned Stachyrion according to the Clark's model of musical improvisation. From our analysis, it is clear that the in the process of crying, improvisation manifests itself as a controlled and reference-based process, which relies on varying and combining the given elements of musical structure according to the established rules concerning the shaping of musical flow in Serbian chant. 
in a cognitive sense, the creation of the final form of church melody in a course of performance, that is, the achievement of its melopoetic completeness in real time, is based on the simultaneous effect and interrelationship of the relevant psychological improvisation models. In other words, improvisation in Serbian chants is a subject to universal laws of cognitive functioning in the field of music creation, that is, to the same psychological principle according to which a sp spontaneous creative activity is carried out within the framework of other musical genres. The improvisation process can be viewed as one of the fundamental qualitative determinants of the newly emerging creative product in Serbian charge, chant. Therefore, the Psalt's art lies in his skill at adapting the existing melody to the text having constant syntactic and semantic characteristics, whereby the degrees of success and peculiar originality of the result depends directly on the Psalt's experience. In that way, cognitive activity in the process of Kroenje, or in other words, within the limits of its inherent improvisation, is also determined by the Psalt's dual action, that is, the fact that the Psalt is both the performer of a melody and its creator at the same time.